We've got the final panel now. This is always a mixed blessing because the final panel is the one where at the end of the day and conferences sometimes overrun and that's what's happened again here. So everyone's been a very long day, they're tired, they've heard a lot of information um, and there's one more panel to go. But for the panellists it's also an opportunity as well as a disadvantage because although their audience might be more tired they get to round up and, and sum up and influence any outcomes. And one of the things that we want to see from this panel and the discussion afterwards in particular is practical outcomes. Um, because we've heard an awful lot about the situation, the problems, how it relates to international law. Um, but what we would like to take away from this conference, as well as it being a research conference, is that tomorrow we all go away and we do something. Maybe we're doing something different and hopefully we're all doing it together so that we can actually change the situation for the Rohingya on the ground and that this conference can be start of a process of doing that. It's part of a series of conferences that have taken place. They have all combined had quite an influence in how the situation for the Rohingya is discussed, the kind of people that are involved in what's going on. So we really want this to be another stepping stone um, another opportunity and we're very lucky that we've got two of the highest profile Rohingya people in exile with us speaking us today, Noel Islam and Tonkin. Uh, which one of you would like to go first? 